Hey YouTube, I'm back, and I have another retro review. Uh, this consists of two little guys um, that also came along with my G2 Grimlock. Um, I'm doing a bunch of reviews of figures I just got in the mail a uh, couple of days, uh, just today. So we're going to take a look at Huffer from Generation 1, and I've never, I have never owned him, ever. And Ripper Snapper from the uh, Terracons Combiner Abominus. Now these are both hand me uh, second own hand me downs, so I did buy these from a guy off online. This is how I, Ripper Snapper I got as is. He does have hit some of his uh, sticker wear on him, but he didn't come with any weapons or anything, so I will be hunting those down. Um, Sometime in the near future, along with the rest of the, the Terracon, so I can build a Abominus. So, so you go posability on him. His little claws move up and down, and back and forth, and do full 360 with them. His feet can do a full 360 with those. And the little tail moves up and down. So to transform him... Go ahead and start by folding up the tail, fold the legs back, grab them here at this piece, and grab the arms, and pull. Go ahead and take the uh, arms, fold them all the way back, come here, push out the little hands that you see molded in, yeah, and we'll take the, I guess you could call them a walking shark. Take that head, fold it up, and just fold it on the, along his back. And there you go. There you have Ripper Snapper in robot mode. And his arms. That's it. That's posability right there. Legs, one solid piece. Uh, I'll show you how tall he is next to Grimlock. As I have Grimlock by his head. Hmm. Say he come by the shark nose comes up to about Grimlock's hip. All right, now we'll look at little Huffer. Huffer is so adorable and tiny and cute. And here's my alternator's dead end. That's how small Huffer is. Huffer's tiny. So to transform this little guy, go ahead, stand him up like this. Grab here by these little, and pull those down, those will be his feet. Grab the wheels on either side, pull them out. Take the smokestacks, bring them around. Take the hood, or the cab, unhook it, and swing it up, and latch it down. And there you have Huffer in robot mode. Now this was the Huffer back in G1. This is what his arms looked like. They actually looked like this in the comics. So these toys were like this. The comic book versions were based off of the toys. There's a nice close-up of his head. And there's Ripper Snapper's head. I forgot to show that off. <laughs> and a size comparison next to his Dinobot buddy. You can see he comes up to about his knee. I'm just above that. There you guys go. There is Ripper Snapper, Snapper, Ripper Snapper, and Huffer. I'm Windraiser, and I'll catch you on the next review.